welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing with chapter 3, Electric Current and Direct Current Circuit. So in this video, we are going to discuss 3.6 Kirchhoff Rules. Electric circuit that contains a number of resistors can often be analyzed by combining individual groups of resistors in series and parallel. However, there are many circuits in which no two resistors are in series or in parallel. Okay? It's required to employ Kirchhoff Rules to with such circuit. So Kirchhoff rules here we have two equations. The first one is Kirchhoff law or we can call it as junctions rule. Okay so junctions rule meaning that the total current that entering at any junction must be equal to the total current that leaving that junction. So the equations for the Kirchhoff first law is the resultant of I that enter to the junction is equal to the resultant I that out from the junction. So I in is equal to I out. Okay, so for example, this is the junction. Okay, here we have I1, 7 ampere. We have I2 with 2 ampere. And then we have I3 with 5 ampere. Okay, so if we refer, this is the junction that we want to refer, meaning that I that enter is I1, I that out of the junction is I2 plus I3. Okay, so I1 is 7 ampere, I2 is 2 ampere, and I3 is 5 ampere. Okay, so meaning that before and after is actually equal. Okay, so I in to the junction is actually equal to I that out from the junction. Okay, next one is Kirchhoff second law or we call it loop rules. So meaning that anything that we want to refer is you must refer to the loop. Okay. So before you refer to the loop, you must draw first. Okay. Either you can draw in anti-clockwise or clockwise. Okay. So usually the directions of the loop is you determine by yourself. Okay. And uh, you must follow back what is the directions that you draw based on the directions that you draw. So the Kirchhoff second law or the loop rule state that the total of all the voltage around the closed loop, okay, it must be a closed loop, in the circuit is equal to zero. Okay, therefore, sum of V is actually equal to zero. Okay, if let's say this is a closed loop, okay, it must be a closed loop. Okay, next, if we refer here, okay, we have based on the second law, Okay, on the principle of conservation of the energy, okay, it states that the energy supply. So usually the energy supply, of course, is from the source of EMF or from the battery. is equal to the total energy dissipated. Okay, dissipated as a heat. And usually energy dissipated is inside the resistor. Okay, so the power supply is provided, okay, provide energy and the resistor is energy dissipated when there's a current flowing through the resistor. Okay, so it dissipated as a heat. Okay, so meaning that if we refer here, the total voltage drop of 10 volt plus 2 volt across the two resistor. Okay, so here we have two resistor, and then we have what battery, and the battery is 12 volt. So this is 12 volt. Actually, this battery is the energy supply. Okay, so it's supplied to two resistor. Okay, so here the energy supply is 12 volt. When the current flowing through, okay, when the current from here is flowing through 5 ohm, it will experience a potential drop of 10 volt. And then when it passing through the 1 ohm resistor, okay, it will experience a 2 volt of uh, voltage drop. Okay, and the end, it will come back, it will come back to zero. Okay, so this is this is the energy dissipated okay so we continue with the conventions of loop rules here we have potential rise eh? okay so potential rise meaning that our v is increasing okay so anything also we must refer back to the loop eh? for example number one case one yeah the loop direction is to the right so when the loop of the direction is to the right and it enter negative come up from positive Meaning that this is a potential rise. So, this is positive EMF. However, 
if let's say the directions of the loop is going to the right and enter positive come out from negative okay come out from terminal negative this is actually potential drop okay so this is a potential drop okay next if you refer to the resistor okay this is a resistor where we know that resistor is energy dissipated okay so if you refer to the resistor we must compare uh, the directions of the loop and the directions of the current so if the directions of the loop is to the right but the directions of the current is to the left meaning that it's actually opposite direction so when it's opposite direction we must substitute negative indicate that it's opposite direction okay so when the current passing through the resistor actually the energy is dissipated so we must substitute negative because of the energy loss i r okay so negative negative finally we will get positive i r okay so this is actually potential rise case huh? this is potential rise case okay so this is positive emf this is positive i r okay and next the directions of the loop is to the right and the directions of the current also to the right okay so both are similar direction same direction so same direction we substitute positive because they are same direction okay and then because it's passing through the resistor so energy is dissipated so we must substitute negative ir so at the end we will get negative ir meaning that this is actually potential drop okay so potential drop when the directions of the loop is cut off from terminal negative so it's negative emf or when the directions of the current and directions of the loop are same so we will also get potential drop okay because energy lost due to the uh, there's a resistor huh? when the current passing through the energy will loss okay so that's all for